Ashley Freeman and Laura Bible's disappearance. Phil Welch, Dave Pennington, and Ronnie Busick killed Mr. and Mrs. Freeman, abducted the teenage girls, and set fire to the Freeman home. The Craig County DA working with the OSBI learned the sheriff's office hadn't turned over key records of the initial investigation. Over the past two years, that information led them to more than a dozen witnesses. They all said either Phil Welch, David Pennington, or Ronnie Busick allegedly bragged about the murders and threatened to kill anyone who went to police. Pennington and Welch have both since died. Investigators are keeping the identity of the witnesses a secret, but said several of them dated the men now accused. Some stated the three men killed the Freemans over a bad drug deal. That Busick said the girls were tied up in a trailer house in Pitcher, where they were raped and tortured. Possibly alive for days after they were kidnapped, more than half of the witnesses remember seeing Polaroid photos of the girls tied up, bound and gagged. Some who knew Welch say they remember seeing photos of the girls laying on Welch's bed in the now abandoned town of Pitcher, Oklahoma. One person said they admitted they killed the girls by strangling them, and several reported the girls' bodies were dumped in a mine shaft somewhere in Pitcher, later covered in concrete. Busick told investigators he doesn't remember whether he was involved. Now with the charges out there and Busick in custody, law enforcement are hoping someone will reveal where Ashley and Laura's bodies are hidden. Somebody knows where these girls are, and for me, I need to bring my daughter home. The suspect, David Pennington, uh, told his uh, ex-wife at the time, or his wife at the time, and his uh, stepdaughter not to go around it. Uh, that he didn't want him around it, and uh, which brings up some suspicion. So based on what Mr. Busick has said about thinking that Pennington talked about filling a root cellar about the time the girls would have been uh, possibly murdered or killed and disposed of. So that brings us out here looking for a possible root cellar that he didn't want them around. After you've done this for 21 and a half years, you just, it's another tip. We're just gonna come and see what it is and you know, see if it's gonna bring the girls home or it's just another tip. You just hope that this is the time the good Lord's gonna say, let's bring the girls home. If and when we find these girls, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's going to be just tears of joy for so many people. Most people tell me that they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have lasted this long. You know, and it's just by the power of the Lord and family and friends that, you know, in prayer that you can sustain it. We're not going to stop until we can, we can find that closure.